Um, it should be a very intense match. They have similar styles, um, but I, I'm really pulling for Anthony Henry here. So I'm going to say Henry gets the win. Yeah, I'm definitely pulling for him as well. Uh, unfortunately, what is the problem with uh, Jauji over there, Arturo Huas? What don't you like about him? Uh, I don't like his names. Okay, fair enough. All of his, all of his names stink, and uh, I don't. I'm not a particularly huge fan of his in ring work uh, or the one promo I've seen from him. So that's that's pretty much sums that's it up. Three so. for three. That's all. That's really all you need. So. <sighs> yeah. Unfortunately, I think he's going to win. So I'm going to say Huas wins this match. Okay, uh, next up, it's, I'm just going to tell you right now, it's my pick for match of the weekend, which is a strong, tall order. But it's the Evolve Tag Team title match. Eddie Kingston and Joe Gacy, the Unwanted, versus AR Fox and Leon Ruff of the Skulk. Um, the Skulk is super hot right now, and Ruff is coming off a really strong showing against Austin Theory. I think they beat Eddie Kingston and Joe Gacy, and they win the Evolve Tag Team titles. That being said, if you're going to turn in, tune into Evolve 131, I want you to realize that Eddie Kingston is going to have a live microphone on the WWE Network. That alone is worth the price of admission. <laughs> yeah, this one's a toss-up for me too. I, I'm I was struggling to figure out who I thought would win, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the champs. So I'm gonna say Kingston and Casey win. I know. AR Fox and Leon Ruff got a pinfall victory over them at the last Evolve show in Brooklyn. But uh, I'm going to stick with the champs. So I'm going to go with the unwanted. Will Eddie Kingston call somebody a snowflake or a lollipop? I hope so, man. I really do hope he gets a chance to uh, cut some sort of a promo because he, he's the best. He's the best bar none. Uh, Kyle, our friend Kyle, really quick, was sending me Eddie Kingston uh, interviews this morning. And like every five minutes, he would be like, this video. One ten of this is like I've gone down an Eddie Kingston rabbit hole, and I just watched like ten Eddie Kingston promos, and he he's the best. He was talking to Chelsea Green. He's like uh, he's like what about that drunk chick I liked? I was dead. I thought it was the greatest thing. <laughs> he's so good. So I, I just hope they give him a microphone, and then um, that's really it. And then maybe people in the back at NXT and Raw can see how to cut a promo. So who knows? Wins for everybody. Um, next up, let's see what we got here. Let's go with Drew Gulak versus Matt Riddle. Uh, catch point implodes. Uh, it should be an amazing grappling wrestling match, but I personally believe that the WWE and Triple H value Matt Riddle more than they do their own cruiserweight champion. So I think Matt Riddle beats uh, Drew Gulak here. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think, uh, you know, they, like you said, Riddle's a bigger player, I guess, in WWE, even though Gulak is the cruiserweight champ. So I will say Matt Riddle wins as well. Um, Bagu just said Eddie Kingston on the mic would actually be worse for WWE than David Starr stomping on the UK title. And I actually, I, I think so. I would agree with that one. Um, all right. Uh, there's two, two matches left main event. Uh, well, this one should be the main event. Unfortunately, I don't think it is, but it's the WWN champion JD Drake one half of the workhorseman against Austin theory, who is the evolved champion. This is a winner take all match. Both titles. I don't know if they're unifying them, Joe. I just know it's it's a winner take all match. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure either. That's a good question. It's an interesting match. I, I don't know that I. I mean, I understand what the concept of the WWN title is. I just don't know if it's really been fulfilled as far as what they wanted it to be. But that said, I think, you know, I don't know. I, I feel like Austin Theory is a guy that, you know, he's he's young, he's talented, he's. Uh, very over as a heel, and I think that having him win here in this showcase is probably the better move. So I'm going to say Austin Theory, Tahiri, wins both <laughs> titles. Theory, yeah, I'm going to agree with you um, on that one. It should be a great match. Um, I have to think they want to showcase a young up-and-comer like Austin Theory on the WWE Network. That being said, uh, I might be in popular opinion, and I'm not sure. I think J.D. Drake is the better professional wrestler at this point. Um, if you just looked at him, you would think he was Arn Anderson, and he sounds like Arn Anderson. However, unfortunately, I think we might have an Anthony Henry heel turn uh, in the works here, kind of causing theory to get that W. So that's – um, I mean, listen, that in a nutshell is Evolve 131, and when you look at this card top to bottom, aside from the Babatunde versus Colby Carino match – I don't see any match that's not going to be uh, competitive, except for the main event, which we haven't even talked about yet. So my, my notes are all over the place. Uh, the main event of the show is, well, listen, it's for the NXT title. It's champion Adam Cole versus Akira Tozawa. 
Uh, this match is really for the Dragon Gate and Evolve purists, but don't get it twisted. In no way, shape, or form will Adam Cole lose the NXT title at an Evolve show to Akira Tozawa. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, it's not really a not a possibility as far as I'm concerned. So uh, I'm sure the match will be very good. I expect it to be very good, and Adam Cole will retain the NXT title. But it seems, doesn't it seem like an odd choice a little bit to you? Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess Tazawa has more of a history and involve. I mean, I, he was wrestling there probably before. At least I personally was was watching most or every Evolve show. So maybe to the to the promotion, it has a little bit more meaning than some of the newer Evolve fans. But you know, maybe they won't put it on last. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how. I mean, but it is for the NXT title. But you never know. Maybe they'll change things around. I don't know how they they plan this stuff and how much they're how much the fact that it's going to be on the network is dictating what they do. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. I hope Eddie Kingston comes out in the main event. I'm probably going to say that for every match, but that would be awesome. Go into business for himself. All right, so that's your um, that's your Evolve 131 card. I'm, I'm stoked. You know, we're not really going to talk about Evolve 132 because they're going to make a lot of the matches for Evolve 132 after Evolve 131, so it's not even really necessary to talk about. But uh, that one, Club WWN, you know, sign up 9.99, and uh, you could watch Evolve 132. And I have to think maybe going forward, if there's a good rating for this, you'll see some more Evolve on the network. So be sure to tune into that. Um, going up against head to head Evolve 131, the uh, the show that was booked first, it's AEW Fight for the Fallen, where the proceeds go to charities benefiting the victims of uh, gun violence. So, considering what happened at the uh, Madden tournament a couple of years ago with the shooting and just absolutely terrible stuff going on, it's a really good cause. And I believe a hundred percent of the proceeds are going to um, to that uh, that charity. So that's um, I mean, and it's free. It's free on uh, BR Live, which is the Bleacher Report app. And uh, without further ado, they added some matches today, but they didn't. Um, they added Britt Baker, I believe, and Bea Priestley. I don't know if we. Uh, I don't know if we know who they're wrestling. If they're wrestling each other, I didn't see that. I haven't seen their opponents listed. I, I, yeah, as far as I know, I have not seen that they're wrestling each other, and I haven't seen opponents. I just have a note that says they're both going to be having matches on the show. So I guess maybe that maybe they'll wind up wrestling each other, or maybe there'll be some uh, surprises or something like that this weekend. I mean, they've literally had at least one surprise at every show, so I think this will be no different. So we'll start at the bottom. Uh, Sonny, the debuting Sonny Kiss versus Peter Avalon. Uh, it's going to be a comedy match, I think, for the most part. Um, you can't really debut Sonny Kiss on loss, and everybody hates the librarian, as you could see this week on uh, Being the Elite, which I thought was very funny how they, you know, they openly admitted how terrible it was, and they said they're going to give it a five year, uh, a five year story arc. So uh, Sonny Kiss wins this one. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I don't know too much about peter avalon but i think that they will probably give sunny kiss a victory uh next up is a match that just got announced today i think i or yesterday it's scu socal uncensored frankie kazarian and scorpio sky versus the lucha bros that's a it's a hell of a match to kind of just add on there last minute but scu hasn't lost a step um they were great at fighter fest when it was uh scu versus uh best friends versus private party but I think the Lucha Bros need to get back to the winning ways after they took a loss in the main event to the Elite. Um, I don't think a loss here hurts SCU, so I think the Lucha Bros get the win here. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think the Lucha Brothers will win. I know SCU won a tag match at double or nothing, I believe. So um, I think that Lucha Bros get a win here. Uh, Bagu just said Peter Avalon is the fist combat champion, and I don't know what that means. So maybe there's a thing for Peter Avalon. I know he's in PWG for a while, but uh, next up is a very new Japan esque six band tag. You throw a bunch of heels on one side, a bunch of faces on the other and see what happens. Uh, Jimmy Havoc, Darby Allen and Joey Janela versus MJF, Sammy Guevara and Ty Dillinger. Um, I'm calling the faces. uh, Their team name is the dead boys. That's really, that's what I'm going to do. So I think the dead boys, uh, they all lost at fighter fest. And Joey Janela took another loss to uh, Enzo, you know, a couple days ago. So um, I don't, this is weird. I don't know. Um, To me, the only guy that should be getting pinned in this match is Sammy Guevara. I wouldn't pin Ty Dillinger. I wouldn't pin MJF. Wouldn't pin Joey Janela or Darby or Jimmy Havoc. So by that um, mathematical equation, uh, the dead boys get the W. Uh, yeah, so I just I assume that this match will wind up with Sean Spears and MJF not getting along. So I imagine that they will that team will take the loss. So I, I agree that the Darby Allen Joey Janela team will 
get the victory. Uh, next up is Hangman versus Kip Sabian. Uh, Hangman will not take a loss before All Out, um, but he will make Kip Sabian look good. And, I mean, Sabian's already a winner as per he's dating Penelope Ford. So Hangman wins the match, and Kip Sabian wins at life. Yeah, I see Hangman winning as well to keep him keep his momentum going heading into All Out as he uh, will challenge for the AEW world title at that show. So Hangman Adam Page gets the win. You know, I'm redoing my prediction for this next match on the fly. Uh, Kenny Omega versus Sema. Uh To me, this is identical to the Hangman and Kip Sabian match. Uh, you know, Omega's not going to lose, and he's going to put Sema over, and he's going to have a great showing. No, Joe, spoiler. Sema wins, and Sema wins because of John Moxley. That's my bold prediction. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to go with Omega to win, as per I think Moxley's in Japan. So I'm going to say... Oh, yeah, then he wins. Damn it. Kenny Omega is the uh, the winner to keep him looking good going into his match with Moxley at All Out next month. Okay, so then instead of him, it's going to be Jericho. Omega loses. That's my prediction still. Damn it, you're right about the G1. There's so much going on, Joe. Uh, next up is Brandy Rhodes versus Allie. Um, here's the deal. Allie got a win over Leva Bates, and the match was uh, not good at Fighter Fest. Brandy seems to be working really hard, um, and let's hope it shows. But I think uh, Allie stays strong here and gets a W, and maybe you could build Allie up for the uh, women's division. So for me, the winner, Allie. I'm going to go Brandy Rhodes, and I only say that because I learned today that Tony Khan has final say on the booking choices. So I feel like that being said, he's going to put over, want Brandy Rhodes to go over. So I'm going to say Brandy Rhodes. So Tony Khan is the Vince McMahon equivalent to AEW? That is correct. That's what I heard. Uh, It was a Young Bucks interview that was done uh, earlier this week. Okay. Because they said he brought up how they went over the Lucha Bros at the first pay per view, and apparently they didn't want to win that match. They kept saying they wanted to lose, and Tony Khan. We had the final say and said they were going to win. So uh, I'm going. You know, I guess when you have a billion dollars, you have that ability, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not that it, not that it was a bad choice, but you know, that's no. The- it's you know, and listen, they haven't disappointed us yet, so I can't even poop on Tony Khan. Um, main. I think this is going to be the main event, but I'm assuming the main event is going to be Cody and Dustin Rhodes versus the Young Bucks. Uh, to me, it's an interesting match. Assuming it is Dustin's last match, um, it should be a, a strong match, and I think the Bucks will do more than enough to make Cody and Dustin look like a very, very good team. If there's going to be some sort of surprise in the show, I think it's going to be here. Um, I still think the Bucks win, and then um, the not Super Smash Brothers attack them afterwards. Yeah, I still I do think that the Young Bucks will win this. I, again, it's it's one of those things. If if it is Dustin's last match, you know, would they? Have him go out on a win with his brother. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where everything's kind of going for Dustin, if he's going to wrestle more. Cody has a few things going on with Sean Spears and some other stuff. So uh, I do think that the Young Bucks will win this match, and it should be uh, – I do think it'll be a very good match, as most Young Buck matches are. Yeah. Um, not for nothing. So far, uh, these two cards head up face-to-face. I mean, they're both free – Realistically, I, I think we have a lot of very good wrestling to look at on uh, on Saturday night. I agree. Speaking of really strong professional wrestling, let's uh, let's hop over to Extreme Rules really quick. Extreme Rules, I should say. Um, you know, on paper, Joe, it's yeah. I know you want to put a uh, needle in your eye, but on paper, the first half of this card is really really strong. So I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt, as I have been doing lately. My yoga teacher has told me. Uh, let's just go with the opener here. Uh, Alistair Black versus Cesaro. Listen, here's the deal. If you give Alistair Black and Cesaro some time, you have a potential for match of the night. Hell, who knows? The weekend. Um, neither guy, again, neither guy should really be losing here. Um, Alistair Black has been, you know, ever since he moved to SmackDown, he's had like these cool promos and these vignettes and stuff like that. And Cesaro seems like he was really getting on a hot streak. I don't want either one to lose. I'm hoping for a schmaz finish. Excuse me. I think Aleister Black wins here. You can't you can't have him lose. So I'm going with Aleister Black. Yeah, I'll go with Aleister too. I mean, I, I appreciate them at least trying to build up Cesaro back a little bit as a singles wrestler, but 
I feel bad for him. I mean, he's been he's been there for like 